What up YouTube, this your boy down low back with another reply. This one is to Rick Ross, High Definition The Music Video. Why the fuck is Timberland in it? Like, by Timberland being in this video, it implies that he made the beat. When he didn't. A dude named Saint Denson made the beat. And don't get me twisted, beat is hot. I liked it. But, it doesn't have that Timberland DNA to it. And that's really one key thing that I hate about this whole Maybach Empire thing that Rick Ross is building up. Because it's fucking confusing. There was a song a while ago that Wale did and which had the Maybach music tagline to it. But it was actually produced by J. Cole. And I didn't fucking know the shit because it wasn't imprinted everywhere that J. Cole made the beat. But that tagline was on that bitch. What I know they're doing is they're paying producers extra in order for them to not say that they did the beat or for them to tag it up themselves. But still, that's bullshit because dudes like me like to follow that type of shit. I like to follow some of the hot producers out there to see exactly what they do. Overall, but I did like the video though, man. Especially the intro when Mike Tyson is talking about his belt and how they're meaningless because that shit is 100% true. Just like when you get into the game and you may get like a platinum plaque or something, that plaque don't mean shit. The work that you did to get that motherfucker, that's all that matters and the money that comes along with it that you can provide for your family. That's about it. And then I like the outro, even though I know this came from Diddy. Basically how he is introducing another artist on his hits. Same shit Diddy has been doing for years. But since we're talking about marketing, let's go ahead and go to the article in which today's article is paying for subs in which there's a lot of places out there man you give them some money they give you some subscribers this is a pointless fucking exercise and I advise against it because you are wasting fucking money like the people who do that is obvious you look at the list of people who subscribe these are people who's only promoting their own shit they don't actually follow them for the content which makes it meaningless. There are some people who capitalized off of faking a buzz and having the total number of subscribers that they had as being a focal point of it. But if I can see through that shit now, labels can see that shit. And I'm not trying to say labels are smart. These motherfuckers is retarded. But if they weren't burned by that shit a bunch of times, then they would still be putting motherfuckers on because of this. But nowadays, nah, you ain't getting on because you have 50, 100,000 subscribers, man. They only putting on people who selling records in stores. Even though you can fake sales, it's tough to fake a buzz in which they will come out and see if you are actually packing these clubs and shit. Right now, man, if you gonna get subs, do it the honest way, man, because it's the only thing that counts. If you actually get people who actually care about your shit, then you are moving forward to building your own. And that's what you need to do.